Season's greetings from the Government Information Service, Channels 12 and 22. Fellow Grenadians, as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I bring you warm and fraternal season's greetings. Christmas for most of us is a time of sharing. It is a time when we re remember the less fortunate in our society and ensure that they too share in the joys and festivities of the season. For many of us, Christmas is celebrated as one of the most important time in the Christian calendar. A time of praise and worship, a time to refocus our lives and make the extra effort to reflect on the mysteries of man's salvation, a salvation that was ushered in with the birth of Jesus Christ more than 2,000 years ago. Brothers and sisters, we are celebrating yet another Christmas in a world that continues to struggle to cope with one of the worst economic recessions in history. Several of the major world economic powers are grappling with the problem of high unemployment and social unrest. Despite all these global challenges, we in Grenada still have much to be thankful for in the year 2011. Our country rose to world fame as we captured the spotlight on the stage of international athletics. Kirani James, Rondell Bartholomew, and other national sportsmen and women did Grenada proud. At home, notwithstanding localized flooding and its associated problems in some parts of our country, by the grace of God and through his blessings, we suffered no hurricane whatsoever. Bearing in mind the negative impact of the effect of greenhouse gas emission on global weather patterns, such as the increased frequency and severity of storms and other adverse weather conditions, we in Grenada must indeed be truly grateful that in 2011, we were spared the worst of these negative impacts. Since assuming my new portfolio as Minister with Responsibility for Environment, Foreign Trade and Expo Development, we have consistently informed you of the growing international support that Grenada is receiving to undertake several projects related to the preservation of our natural environment. In this season of sharing and thanksgiving, I want to take this opportunity to thank the several countries that have committed to help us with our local environmental challenges. These countries include Germany, South Korea, Japan, and the People's Republic of China, to name but a few. One of the critical tasks for us now, as a government, is to ensure that when these environmental projects come on stream, that as many persons as possible obtain some degree of employment. Grenada is also expected to host an international workshop on the environment in the middle of 2012. This workshop, which will be funded by the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, will put Grenada on the map as being the first country in the Western Hemisphere to host such a meeting. Environmentalists from all over the world will converge on Grenada for that important forum on the environment. In 2012 also, my ministry is expected to participate 
in an important trade expo in South Korea. The opportunity for our local manufacturers and entrepreneurs to capitalize on this exposure to international markets is tremendous. The point I'm making is that there is great prospect that things would get better for us as a nation and as a people in 2012. I take this opportunity to extend special season's greetings to all my constituents of St. Patrick West. You have been there for me in good times and in tough times. Your support for me as your MP since 2008, and particularly over the last three months, has been a source of strength and consolation. Your clear demonstration of solidarity, love, and patriotism must never go unnoticed. I look forward to serving you with even greater commitment and fervor in 2012. For us in St. Patrick, this new year would see the commencement of work on the St. Patrick's Road Network Upgrade Project. It will also be the year when the people of Snell Hall, La Fortune, Madeis and Monfendu will see the age-old dream to have their own playing field and resource center become a reality. 2012 will also feature important progress with regard to the Sotez Road Network Expansion Project that would ultimately result in the construction of several new streets in the town of Sotez. The coming on stream of these major projects in St. Patrick is intended to complement the long list of small infrastructure projects that would be undertaken at the village level in the new year with God's help. Brothers and sisters, as we continue to celebrate this festive season, I admonish you to also remember the true, the true reason for Christmas. Let us show others that we truly care. Let us ensure that our neighbors have a decent meal. Let us ensure that every child has a toy. Let us ensure that the elderly and the shortings are visited and taken care of. Let the true spirit of goodwill among men manifest itself by our unselfish giving from the heart. I take this opportunity also to wish the diligent management and staff of the Ministry of Environment, Foreign Trade, and Expo Development a very happy Christmas and a bright and productive New Year. To all my fellow Grenadians at home and abroad, on behalf of the staff of the Ministry of Environment, Foreign Trade, and Export, and Export Development, and myself and family, I wish you a blessed, peaceful, and enjoyable Christmas and a healthy and prosperous New Year. Season's greetings from the Government Information Service, Channels 12 and 22.